Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees and I'm in front of my avocado tree and I know everyone's excited about mangoes because it's mango season now and I'm going to be doing some videos on that lately, uh, real soon, but uh, lately real soon. I mean, I'm going to be doing videos on that soon, but today I want to do a video about avocado because it is a perfect time to be grafting avocados and I'm standing here in front of my super Haas avocado tree and there's a bunch of uh, little baby avocados on there now. Uh, they're looking really nice. I'm really excited about this. Uh, but there's one graft uh, right here. And this is a Monroe graft that I did without even knowing really what I was doing. I've gotten some experience in grafting mangoes, but not really avocados. But uh, I just played around with this a year ago and it took not, no avocados on it yet, but it's, it's looking good. It's not the ideal place for a graft because it's just at the end of this at this at this branch that's going all the way to the tree so it wasn't really the ideal place for a graft uh, but it is low so that's a good thing but i was just playing around to see what i could do but what had happened was i try to carefully select my avocado trees and i love avocados and this is a super house avocado now i have somehow ended up with two super house avocados that I chose and this one's been really nice. This is one of those expensive trees that I bought. So I was so excited about it. I bought it really tall and so far it's been productive, but not great. The first year there were unripe avocados on it and I might've cut, cut it back too soon. There wasn't too much on it the second year and this year it's loaded, so we'll see how it goes. My other Super Haas is doing well. Well, I've tasted many different uh, avocados recently and just in general in Florida here and I bought too many avocado trees I ended up buying uh, 21 varieties of avocado trees and I had a good amount of them in the ground but I ran out of room to have them all in the ground and trying to cover all the seasons I went a little crazy but uh, so I have a lot in pots now so I have a Tyler avocado in pots and a lot of people haven't heard of that and a Kempong then I have a Nishikawa. I have an extra Nishikawa, uh, a really nice looking Nishikawa. It's uh, it's really uh, really tall here. It's really nice. So I'd be willing to trade or sell that if somebody's looking for a Nishikawa avocado. It looks great. So I have that, uh, and I have a bacon avocado. You know, I, I might be willing to trade or, or sell that one. Uh, but that's not about my video today about selling these things. I even have. A seedless avocado and I'm not getting rid of that one uh, but that one's still in the pot anyway uh, but today I want to show you uh, a tree that I had that was mislabeled when I got it put in and this is one tree I didn't buy somebody brought it to me when I first got my yard uh, about seven years ago and when I got it put in I was told it was a Brogdon and I didn't know much about the different Florida avocados at that time I was told it was a Brogdon avocado and last year it was loaded and it wasn't a Brogdon avocado. It was actually, uh, in researching, to me it appears it was a winter Mexican avocado. And I'm not just saying a Mexican avocado that fruits in the winter. There's literally an avocado called a, a winter Mexican avocado. But unfortunately, the, the avocado tasted wonderful, but the problem was they didn't ripen evenly. So to my disappointment, they didn't ripen evenly. I decided I was going to put something else on there. And I was deciding what to put on there. Now, from my research, uh, if you're in Florida and you don't have room for a lot of avocado trees and you want to cover all the seasons, the best ones to get would be a Monroe, a Miguel, and a Chuquet. Ch 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 and I say that because my neighbor has those three trees and it covers all seasons. So those would be the best three common commercial varieties that are known to do good here in South Florida. There are a lot of unknown varieties uh, that are, uh, are known, but not known as well as those that do well. But those are the three solid ones. Uh, uh, so you have your Choquet, your Miguel, and your, uh, your, Ch your Miguel, your Choquet, and your Monroe. Now, of course, Simmons is another one that's really popular. So I wanted to get all of those. Now I have the Super Haas and I have the Nishikawa and I have all these other avocados, but those are the three main ones. Well, I ended up getting my Simmons and it's in the ground. I got my Super Haas in the ground. This is my Monroe and it's growing really nice, nicely. I'm happy with that. I also have a couple of others in the ground. Most people haven't heard of, 
But I didn't even have a day avocado, my Oro Negro one that's in the front of the house, which is my favorite tasting one. They didn't produce great last year, but it was so delicious and they did ripen evenly. Uh, uh, and then I have over here uh, a Cuban avocado. I have a bunch, but this is the one I want to show you today. I decided to top work my, my tree here. So this is my uh, winter Mexican avocado tree that I tried to top work. And I might be making this video a little premature because I don't know if it worked yet, but uh, I consulted with uh, three people. My neighbor who successfully top worked avocado trees recently and uh, Alex at Tropical Acres Farms, which uh, I got several of my avocado trees from and, and from, and he knows a lot about grafting. And Julian, who I got a good amount of my avocado trees from and just an amazing grafter, great guy and so on. So I consulted with them. I ended up getting uh, some, uh, some budwood for the two avocados I want. Now I have a Miguel in the ground somewhere else but I wanted to get a head start on it. So I put a Miguel on this, half of this Miguel and half of this was another tree that uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it unnamed for now before to see if it takes. So here's what I did. I grafted them and again, we'll see how it works. We'll see how it goes. So uh, right now I have four of the grafts Get the cat out of there. Move cat. Look, the cat. This cat's in the tree here. Come on, kitty. Don't mess up my grass, kitty. Okay, so I have my Miguel's here. And you see it's still green. As long as they're, new green, they're, they're still green, you got some hope. So we'll see how they go. I got four, five. I think I did six Miguel's and four of the other one, which I won't name. I don't know how they're gonna come out, but what I did was I cut back, I cut back the, the other one. I, le I left the winter Mexican on here as well on, on some of them to see if these take first. But the bigger branches I cut out and the smaller branches are where I grafted my avocado to. Now, if it worked, I'll show you how I did it. But if it doesn't work, I guess it doesn't make sense to, to show you how I grafted, but we'll see how it works. Uh, but they're looking good, so. And then you have the winter Mexican still on here as well. So if it works, I guess I'll successfully have three, but I'm definitely going to get rid of those if these graphs take. So we'll see how they are. And let's see here. Let me move away from that because the cat just wants to jump in that tree and I don't want to mess up my graphs. Catalina, that was my Cuban one. And this is uh, looking really nice. Oh, there's uh, my first avocado there or one of them on the Catalina and maybe I'll show you my other avocados in the ground here so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing <laughs> so that uh sour sap tree oh, look at the kitty he just loves following me but that sour shop tree is looking good right next to this So it's all a experiment. I want to encourage as many people to try as often as possible when it comes to this. Okay, kitty, you want me to hold you? Okay. Say hello, kitty. Okay. So let's go and uh, look at my Simmons and see how that one's doing. But that's it. So I'll, I'll see how that works. And tomorrow I'll do a video about those. I'll do a video about those coming soon. My lemon meringue mangoes are looking great. So, I got my Simmons avocado. They're all looking really nice. And then in the other place, I have a wart in the ground. I have a Nishikawa in the ground, a Miguel in the ground, a Super Haas. And in the pots, I have the Brogdon, the Bacon, the Nishikawa, the Kampong. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, I don't know how many of you have experience with grafting avocados. If you have any comments or questions, you want to put them below. Uh, but that's what I got going on here with uh, the avocados. I'm going to show you my front avocado because it's looking wonderful. The, the tree I have in a, 
in the front of the house here. This is the Oro Negro. It was a pleasant surprise because I had never even heard of that one, but the same person that got me the mislabel on the Winter Mexican got me this one. And what a delicious avocado that is. Oh, I also have one more I wanna tell you about. So here's my day avocado. This one. This is called the Ronnie avocado. So this is the fourth edition I would add, this Ronnie, because I said Miguel, Jacquet, Monroe. I would add a Ronnie because Ronnie, Ronnie and Donnie, I have a Donnie too. They cover two seasons that none of the other ones have. So I would get a Donnie and a Ronnie, Miguel, Chiquette, and Moreau. Those are the five avocados tree you would have if you have the space to cover the whole season. But there, there's a lot more out there, but that's what I would do. All right, everybody, put your comments and questions below, and I'll keep you updated on that graft, uh, avocado graft. I'll let you know how that's working. And it's, uh, you know, if you haven't had Florida avocados, it's definitely an experience. Uh, some of them are, are terrible. They're very watery, uh, but some of them are absolutely amazing taste. In my opinion, even better than the, the California Mexican Hosca avocados, if you get a good Florida one, like the Oro Negro or any of the ones that I have are just excellent. So, all right, everybody, coming soon, a mango video. I'll give you an update on my mangoes. Until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.